Yo, what is up everyone? Tachi here. So today I finally just finished getting my Exoci or as she says it, Exia's Elite 2. So I was actually kind of curious, how much sanity did I actually spend? So I just spent the last like one, maybe two hours trying to math out exactly how much sanity it would cost to Elite 2 any six stars. So do keep in mind, this is going to be only for six stars and it's merely meant as information. So you guys can keep that in mind about how much it's going to cost. Obviously, four and five stars, they are going to cost significantly less to elite in any fashion. So do keep that in mind. Also, if you guys find this video informative, hit the like button and please share it around. I really want people to understand exactly how much it costs to elite two units that are six star. So the initial cost, what I would call the basic cost, which applies to all classes regardless, it doesn't matter what they are, as long as they're six star of course, is the LMD for promotion, which is the 180,000, the EXP required to go from Elite 1 level 1 to Elite 1 level 80, which is 337,000 EXP, and then another 353,000 LMD for the leveling cost. Yeah, surprising, the leveling actually costs more than the actual promotion. Now, it costs 720 sanity for the 180,000 LMD just for the promotion. And then you're gonna spend another 2,070 for more LMD just for the leveling, followed by another 1,380 sanity for the EXP, bringing up the total cost to 4,170 sanity. So clearly that's a lot of sanity. If any of you guys know exactly how much sanity we get region per day, you guys can then just divide that up. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly how much that is, so I have no idea. Anyways, on to the next slide. I'm basically doing it based on Vanguard's because I was looking at Siege and she's a elite one for me right now. So I was looking at her materials. I believe the sanity cost for pretty much all six stars is going to be more or less around the same regardless. It's just different mats for all of them. Now, for vanguards, you are going to need six Oridoc concentrations, four bipolar nanoflakes, and four vanguard twin chips. Now, this is actually going to assume that you get the shop chip just based on like your normal playthrough without having to farm the actual stage that gives the resources for it. So just keep that in mind. That's probably another couple, maybe like a hundred sanity more. I just, I figured you probably have enough of them by now anyway. So on to the rest of them. So the Oridoc concentrations, I think you should probably just farm them on stage 4-6, 32 times, which comes up to a cost of 576 sanity. As for the Bipolar Nanoflake, you need to get one mat called White Horse Coal, and I would highly suggest farming that on stage 4-4, 58 times. Obviously, this is a guesstimate uh, based on the value and the, uh, the estimated quantity of them that you'll get. And it comes out to a cost of 1,043 sanity. The optimized device, personally, I would split it up into the lower tiers. It's a little bit easier to farm. And you can get it by farming first the integrated device for 12 times on stage 4-10 for a total cost of 252 sanity. Then you're going to get the Oridoc clusters. You're going to get them on stage 4-6, farming it 10 times for a total cost of 180 sanity. Last but not least, you're going to need to farm grindstones on stage 3-3, 13 times for another 195 sanity. And as for the Vanguard chip pack, I'm assuming it's going to be a 50-50 rate, so it's going to be 16 times PRC-2 for 576 sanity, bringing the total cost up to 2,822 sanity quite expensive, but not as expensive as the first part. Now let's go on to the final and last slide. So looking at the final slide, the estimated total sanity cost to go from level one elite one all the way to level one elite two is 6,922 sanity. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, this is using siege. 
I'm pretty sure someone else can correct me if I'm wrong. It's more or less going to be the same value, the same cost for all six stars, regardless, it's just different materials that you need to farm. And obviously it is RNG dependent. So it is going to depend on your personal luck. And obviously uh, 6,922 could very well be 3,000, 4,000 or 8,000, 10,000. Honestly, we have no way of knowing. So like I said, if you guys find the video helpful, please hit the like button. Please share it around. I'm out. Have a nice day.